Welcome, Lauren. Good to see you. Hi, Jeff. It's nice to see you. How how have you been? How was your past week? You know, it was okay. I think, you know, last week when we met, I was in a really good mood. And then this week, some like surprises kind of happened at work and like some like rumors about like more layoffs and things. So I think I'm just like kind of stressed out, to be honest. Um, but nothing like terrible necessarily. Okay. Well, the, thank you for letting me know. I mean, it's, it, you know, this, you're probably used to the way these sessions go and I check in on your moods and now you tell them to me unprompted. So it's, yeah. it's a good, a good collaboration uh, that we have. And I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're stressed out. Um, and we'll, I think we can talk a little bit about that uh, in a moment. Um, I'd like to follow up just a little bit on um, some of the things that we talked about last week, we talked mm -hmm. about cognitive restructuring, which was, um, you know, a way of sort of, um, well, we talked about um, home, like doing this homework assignment. Mm -hmm. and I'm curious how that went. It was basically, you know, we're, we were trying to restructure your thoughts as from uh, I'm feeling you know, less than at work or incompetent mm -hmm. at work at, into something different, such as um, uh, my boss respects me, my colleagues respect me, I'm doing good work. And your homework, which I may not have done a great job of explaining, but was mm -hmm. to sort of take out that new feeling for a test drive and and apply it during moments at work and find out whether it rang true for you. So during these during these moments of work you had this week that were challenging, how did that play out? Yeah, um, I think it's a good question. I mean, first of all, I think like the the homework I feel like made sense to me. And I think like the implementation was, it was just hard, I think, given like these rumors that I mentioned. So when you talked about like, you know, me taking these ideas out for a test drive, like, I'm competent, like I'm worthy, like, you know, I can stand up for myself. I feel like when it came to my coworkers, I think it was a lot easier. So on that project I told you that I've been working on, it's me and three other people. And, you know, at some point they wanted to like reassign the tasks because people, like people were feeling stressed, honestly, about these possible layoffs. So they wanted to like make sure that they got easier stuff so that they would like look good because they do such a good job. And I think in that moment, I was able to like do the test drive like you suggested and like push back and be like, no, like, you know, I know that I don't have to like do the hard stuff just to like make you all happy or like prove that I'm like worth being on this team. Um, so I think I felt like, better in that instance uh but with my boss it's still very very challenging that she did like continue to like pile on the work and like basically ask me to like redo an entire thing and I found like in those moments I could like hear your voice in my mind that I wanted to say like you know no I think it's good enough like I think I did good enough work because I, I really did think that like it was fine honestly um, but I just, I just couldn't do it with her. Like, I think that I was still just too freaked out, you know? Well, I, I'm glad to hear you say that. And and part of it is that the interactions that you had with your colleagues is a very positive sign. And it's not that you failed because you didn't have, you know, do it the same with, uh, with your boss. We're taking steps to, you know, along a path here. And mm -hmm. I think the fact that you did this with your colleagues is is a sign that you are, will be able to, um, you know, it, it, it's like it's taking baby steps, essentially, and not that I'm yeah. referring to you as a baby in any way, shape <laughs> or form. But do you do you does that make sense to you? Yeah, I, you know, I really like I was thinking about like, you know, what would Jeff say um, before I like, came into this session about it? And I was like thinking that you'd probably say something along those lines since last week you really encouraged me to like stick up for myself also as a way of like 
kind of gaining respect like in the workplace and like how that's important too and I definitely felt I think it's what made it easier with the coworkers. like I felt like they respected me more after I pushed back and I felt like my boss respected me too uh, I think it showed like I was thinking of myself like as my own agent and that like I didn't have to just like do everything uh to prove it so yeah, yeah. I think even if I'm struggling I hear you that I, that's good to hear. I mean, the the you, you keep using the word respect, which makes me wonder. You know, like I was going to ask, what do you want to work on today? Like, what is on your mind? But it sounds like that is kind of, you know, like central to what you're thinking about these days. Is like how mm -hmm. how do I fit in? Uh, how do I, you know, prove that I'm that people respect me or something like that. I don't want to put words in your mouth. What, you know, is that the, the subject that you'd like to to talk about today? Yeah, you know, I feel like even like three weeks ago in meeting with you, like I don't think I would have phrased it in that way. But the more we talk, I, I do think that's like really like at the crux of it that like, yeah, I, I constantly feel a need to prove myself and that like in order to like be respected I have to like overwork and like acquiesce to people's demands so I, I think that's like an important insight yeah last week you you talked about feeling sort of paranoid and nervous around your boss after essentially standing up to your boss about yeah. this it was like a work event um and the, you, I think you used the phrase pins and you were on pins and needles. Mm -hmm. Is that what it, what did it feel like in those moments this week with your boss when you reacted differently than you did with your, your coworkers? Yeah, I think honestly, in some ways I felt worse this week. Like last week I was on pins and needles after I stood up for myself, but like in the moment when I was standing up for myself, like I felt pretty good. Like I felt like I was taking myself seriously and I felt like I was like firm and grounded but this week when like when she was talking with me and I wanted to stand up for myself but I didn't say anything I just felt like really anxious like very like pins and needles came back I felt like so pressured and bottled up in that moment and then afterwards I just felt defeated and deflated okay Thank you for letting me know that. And I mean, hearing, you know, hearing the, the, you, the way you describe this sort of helps me transition into what I wanted to do today with, if it was okay with you. Do you know anything about mindfulness? Mm -hmm. I like hear it sometimes, you know, like I know people talk about it, but yeah. I don't actually know anything about it, to be honest. It, it sounds like a buzzword or whatever. I mean, essentially mindfulness is teaching you to focus on what's currently happening um, either externally, like if you're talking to someone mm -hmm. or internally, like what's happening in your head. Um, and then what you do is you practice sort of being willing to experience whatever's happening without mm -hmm. judging that feeling, without judging yourself. Um, and it's particularly helpful for people who sometimes feel anxious or criticize themselves, um, mm -hmm it helps you develop kind of a different relationship with your thoughts, basically. Um, so I'd like to try a mindfulness exercise with you if you're, if, if you're up for that. Yeah, no, I think that sounds great. I, I'm really interested. Okay. Okay. So part of getting into it, do you know what, have you heard of the, the, the word rumination? No, I don't think so. So to ruminate on something is to like obsess over various thoughts, you know, uh, I don't know if obsess is the right word, but to constantly be thinking about, about thoughts. And okay. I'd like you to tell me, so this worrying that you have, that your boss is going to think you're quote unquote, not good enough, or, you know, not competent. What are the advantages of, of having that feeling? Are there any advantages? Hmm. I, I do feel like there's like kind of a twisted advantage maybe. Like I'm wondering what you think, but like sometimes when I like lean into those thoughts of incompetency, I like, I do overdo it. Like I like work really hard and 
the result is that I can really impress people and I think like kind of show off um I don't think that like accounts for like the effect it has on me which is like pretty negative but the byproduct can be like seen as kind of positive okay can you think of other um disadvantages I'm sorry advantages we're not oh advantages yet honestly no I mean I guess I learn a lot but like because I work so hard I like I think learn a lot of things really fast but I I think I learn them so fast I forget them so that might still be a disadvantage okay so what what are what are some of the disadvantages that 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 pop into your head regarding having this feeling yeah I think there are a lot of disadvantages I think I like spread myself way too thin I think I like like don't like have my priorities straight like it really messes with my priorities in my life when it comes to like seeing friends or having fun or like getting enough sleep like I think there's a lot of like emotional and physical disadvantages honestly okay and social I guess when you think of these negative emotions regarding this this thought Mm -hmm. how intense is it like on a scale of one to ten one being not very intense and ten being like unbearable oh I think so like this past week for example when there was like these talks of of layoffs and things like it I think it got high I think I got into like an eight on a regular week I feel like I'm probably more like a five okay um and then how would you how would you say you feel right now at this moment probably I want to say between a six and a seven I think just because I'm like thinking about it and talking about it um but definitely not like a 10 or anything okay so here's what we're gonna do um i want you to this may sound sound strange at first but but just roll with it and if you decide that this is you know uncomfortable for you or it's not your thing let me know okay okay but i want you to close your eyes for a minute and just focus on your breathing okay. you're just gonna you focus now? you can do it right now okay. close your eyes focus on your breathing the sensations you feel as you breathe. Notice how the air feels going in and out. How your lungs feel as they expand. You can notice these sensations or focus on a specific one like the air coming in and out of your nose, whatever's most comfortable for you. So as you do this, your mind is inevitably going to go in some directions. It's hard to just stay focused and that's okay. As you notice it running off, just become aware of it. Gently bring it back to you. And no matter how many times it wanders, you can bring it back and you focus on your, on your breathing. It's okay. If your mind wanders that that's totally normal. The goal is not to clear your mind. It's just to accept thoughts Bring them back into the fold. Think about your breathing. Okay. In a minute, I'm going to, or a few moments here, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can open your eyes. So, how did that feel? I think it was a really interesting experience. Um, I've never done anything like it. And I think, I think it felt 
both like confusing like I appreciated that you said that um like the mind will wander because I think that like it was definitely wandering um I also think it was nice like I I don't think that I like take that much time in my life to just pause in that way when your mind wandered were you able to sort of bring your attention back to the breathing yeah that was really helpful like I couldn't really focus on like the lungs like you said but the focusing on the air coming in and out of my nose like that I think was was very clear so it's I mean what does that tell you about your ability to sort of to let go of some of these thoughts that are in your head yeah yeah no I didn't I don't think I like really like thought of that connection until you you just said this but I mean, the fact that I said that I was feeling between a six and a seven, and then in just a few moments, I was able to feel like such a reprieve, like, I think for me, that does really show that like, I am able to like, ground myself, like come out of it. And they don't have to be like, so overwhelmed and subsumed with all these thoughts, like all of the time. That's, that's great. That's the whole idea. I mean, how, how intense would you say the sadness is now? You said six or seven before. I feel like definitely not a seven now. I don't think it's gone down like that much, but maybe more now like sitting at a six. Okay, good. What, what do you make of that? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think what I like to make of it and like partially what I've been getting out of our sessions is that like I am able to attain balance that like takes a little bit of work um and I feel like I'm not that practiced in it but that it's not impossible yeah it's it's not I mean this is like anything else it takes practice and I think if this was something that you found helpful and it sounds like you did do you think it would be good to to, for you to practice this as part of your action plan, your homework, um, you know, coming up in this week um, without, without me sort of prompting you. Yeah, I think, I think I would like that. I'd be really curious to experiment with it a little bit. Like, I wonder, it seems for me like it would be really hard to do this, like at work. Um, but I feel like even, especially at home, like that seems very doable. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think for a lot of people, when they practice mindfulness, the first few times it feels awkward or embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You're like, what, what am I doing here? And then you get used to it. And then if, if it works right, you sort of crave it. You crave those moments of being able to accept thoughts and, you know, let go of the ruminations that you have about, about things. Um, I want to go back because you mentioned something before and we didn't, I, I, I sort of skipped over it, but you talked about something about the, these layoffs or threats of layoffs that were happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it sounds like maybe that looms large in your mind this week too. And I didn't mean to give it, you know, short shrift. Um, I, you know, how, how did this play out? How did you feel about it? Oh, about the layoffs or like the rumors? Yeah. Right. I mean, I do think that, like, I'm really stressed about them, ultimately, and, you know, it's tricky, right, because it's, like, mid-October, and I imagine that if they're gonna announce it, it probably won't be until the end of the month, so I feel like the next two weeks might be kind of hard, um, so I think I'm, I'm interested in trying the mindfulness exercise to kind of pull myself out of that, like, when I leave work, like, it's hard at work because everyone's talking about it, but at least like in my personal life, try and just like build in a little bit of distance. Okay. Um, so you do think that it would be good to, to good practice to do this on your own? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, just wanted to, to make sure. Um, so as we finish up here, I just, I want to kind of summarize what we've, what we've gone over here. Um, uh, and that is, you know, you, I encourage you to take these feelings out for a test drive as far as, you know, like this idea that, you know, you're competent, that you're respected and all that, and that it worked for you more effectively with your colleagues than it did necessarily with your boss. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Is that, is that, does that sound accurate? Oh yeah. I think that's exactly right. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, you know, we, we talked a little bit about, um, sort of piggybacking on the cognitive restructuring stuff that we did and this taking out thoughts for a test drive, the anxiety that still pops up when you're dealing with your boss and to a lesser mm -hmm. extent with your colleagues and that mindfulness can be, you know, just another kind of tool in your, in your tool belt, you know, and I, I feel like each week we're trying, we're trying some different methods to see mm -hmm. kind of what works for you and what doesn't. And it sounds like you're open to the idea of trying this as, um, you know, as something worth, worth exploring, you know? Totally. Yeah, no, I think, I think definitely. And it's kind of nice in my mind, like we're talking about mindfulness after the cognitive restructuring, because it was a little intense, I think, with my boss. So I think this gives me some solace as like a way to kind of like come down and out of it a little bit. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And I mean, if you, let's make the homework very, um, you know, very direct. Let's say you're going to, you're going to try three times in the next week mm -hmm. to do, to have mindfulness moments. And it can be three minutes. It can be 20 minutes. It can be whatever you're, you're comfortable with. Um, but uh, to sort of always remind yourself as you're doing it to come back to just focusing on the breath. There's no harm in your mind wandering. Mm. Um, that's totally natural. Um, and it's not trying to empty your mind of all thoughts. It's, it's, it's mm. hearing the thoughts and accepting them and not judging them and not judging yourself. So um, that's, that's, your, that's our action plan for the upcoming week. How does okay. that sound? Yeah, I think that's really, really clear. I feel like the the not judging them part, I'm like really curious to see how it goes is that sounds very difficult, but I, yeah, I'm excited to try it. Okay, lovely. Um, is there anything, I guess I'd like to just check in and, and find out if how you feel like these sessions are going. Does Do you feel like um, there are things that we could be doing differently that would be more helpful? Oh. Um, no, I think, you know, I really appreciated that, like, you brought the layoffs component back up again, because it, it does feel, like, very on my mind, but no, overall, I think that, like, I am, like, seeing the structure, things are making sense to me over time, like, I, I think I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying being here. Okay, that's, that's a good sign. Well, thank you very much, and I'll, uh, we'll see you uh, this time next week, Lauren. All right, that sounds great, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye.